Hey guys, I'm here with my friend Steven, and we are going to be doing the recap a little bit differently this week because uh, for time issues, since we have so much lost in a short amount of time, as you know, I'm going to a interview behind the scenes thing Thursday, and I think he's going. I'm gonna buy my ticket. He's gonna try to go um, if he can get a ticket this late, uh, which means that uh, we've got you know Tuesday lost, Thursday lost, and then Sunday lost, and it usually takes me a long time to do recaps with editing, so we figured we'd just shoot this right after the episode airs about some of our thoughts, and this should be a little bit quicker to put up. So, what they died for. I thought that this was actually a really good episode. It actually showed us some stuff, unlike last week's episode. Well, last week's episode, like, a lot of people really didn't like. I, I didn't dislike it, but it felt like it was wanting to tell you things it, it like told you things without telling you things uh and this episode uh really got back into the action and what was happening so uh i really really like this episode everything that, that this season I, I felt that has been building towards has is kind of peaking right now like we knew that jack was looking for his purpose and by the beginning of the season when they started talking about the candidates you know i felt okay well jack is going to take jacob's place mm -hmm. And that finally happened in this episode, which is something that I loved. So the flash sideways was sort of like, a, like everyone kind of kind of deal. It sort of like it first started following Jack and Claire, which I thought that that was actually a really great scene where we saw um, Jack, his son David, and then Claire was over there, and it was like kind of cool because it was like, oh, they're like a little family at last. You know, Claire's mm -hmm. not crazy, and Jack is you know all friendly. Oh, and, and he still had, like, he had another cut. Like cut still. Which he had... Still bleeding. He had in the, um... He had a cut like that in the premiere when he was on the plane. Mm -hmm. And we were kind of like, okay, that's weird. It looks like a shaving cut, though. So, like, maybe... Because I don't know if you noticed, but, like, Jack on the island, you know, since he's back on the island, he's getting that scruff back up. Mm -hmm. So maybe he, like... Like, during the finale, like, I can imagine the last scene, Jack is, like, shaving... And then all of a sudden he's like, ah! And then it cuts to the flash forward and you see him like wiping the blood off or something. Mm -hmm. You know, that that could actually be, you know, a decent ending to the series, I think. Every time because, he goes to sleep. It, exactly, because yeah, Jack's sleep. always had like this this kind of scruffy thing going on the island. Yet, you know, in the flash sideways, he's just very clean. clean shaven. Right. Um, <laughs> which is, of course, preposterous. But, uh, anyways, and, uh... Nothing is preposterous in this show. That is true. That is true. <laughs> Maybe shaving could be the most important thing on the island. So, yeah, the Flash Sideways starts going through all these different characters. Jack gets a call where they claim to have found, um, Christian's body, which it turns out that that was Desmond, and then it sort of jumps over and shows what Desmond is kind of doing. Uh, and he's sitting at the school... Trying to run John, John over again. It looked like he was gonna, <laughs> yeah. It looked like he was gonna go run John over again, which I don't think really would have helped. No, would have been kind of, kind of weird. But uh, then Sheesh. Ben stops him, and Ben's like, <laughs> "Don't you hurt, Mister Locke!" And, and I was like, beat "Yes." Up. Then he gets beat up. And of course, and of course, yes, Ben has to get beaten up again. Beat up. Um, and then we see Ben in the nurse's office, and. <laughs> and then what happened? Don't just stare at me. <laughs> <laughs> what happened that he was in the nurse's office and then... He smarts off to the nurse and she's like, screw yeah, you, I'm going to get your eyes back. <laughs> yeah, she's, he smarts off to the nurse and then and then someone comes in. Who was that? John. <laughs> yes, that's right. It was John. Oh, you're asking me a question? <laughs> okay. Well, John comes in <laughs> and uh, and Ben finally tells him that he saw Desmond, or he says the guy that, that ran him over. Yeah. He saw him again. And um, and he didn't say that he was there to hit him, you know, to run him over again. He said he was there to help him let go, right? Right, exactly. Um, which John apparently kind of got a sense of what he was talking about. Because it was, then, it was the same thing that Jack had told him earlier. Right. That he needed to let go. Right. So, so Ben um, ends up going home with Alex and his, hooks up with... Her mother. He's gonna hook up with Danielle. We know that. That's. That's, but, that's I mean, happen. it was sort of awkward, actually. I thought um, the idea was like cute, I guess, but it was a little bit awkward. Just sort of like, 
oh yeah, she thinks of you as a dad, and it's like, oh, I was just coming for dinner, and I, think I have was, a I broken think, arm. I think it was more awkward when she said, <laughs> well, you're coming even if we have to kidnap you. Because she's yeah, that all was like, big about kidnapping people. Yeah, she did kidnap Aaron, <laughs> so she kidnapped Ben now, and Aaron. she might rape him. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ben is just kind of awkward when it comes to lady friends, yes. and I thought this was interesting because they actually had a the Lost Smackdown, I don't know if you guys know this, but it's pretty much a parody that the producers and some of the actors put on. And there was one where uh, Michael Emerson confronted Damon Lindelof and Carlton Cuse and was like, uh, how about throwing in a, a love interest at the end for Ben? Because he's never had that, really. And they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they were joking, saying it was going to be uh, Mr. Friendly. Um, the dude that put on the beard and kidnapped Walt. Mm -hmm. uh, which would have been funny, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of liking the uh, the Danielle Rousseau. Danielle, the nice one. Yes, uh, which means that sort of Alex is still his daughter figure in both timelines, which is kind of cool. And then next, Desmond kind of goes and turns himself in, which was kind of weird. He's just kind of waltzes in there and is like, hey, arrest me. And I loved the scene. I absolutely love the scene where he's just in there and he's so happy and he looks over and and Saeed's in the same cell as him and then Kate is on the other uh in the other cell and he's just like, "Hi, how are you doing?" <laughs> and she's just like, "Who's this weirdo talking to me?" And and you know that something's up because you've got Miles and Sawyer are the cops and you've got Desmond, Saeed and Kate all in the same jail cell. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just like... And then Hugo comes and, like, rescues them. Yeah, that was that was interesting. We got to see Anna Lucia again when Lucia. Desmond pretty much... <clears throat> pays her off. Pays her off to let them go, which was kind of interesting. So it seems like Hurley now has a complete understanding of the other timeline. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is, in some strange way, Island Hurley... Now in the Flash Sideways, we don't really know, but well, he, he did recognize Anna yeah, he Lucia walked right up she to, came up exactly. Um, so I kind of got the sense like, oh, we haven't met met yet, which is something that like th that kind of reminded me of when Hurley was like time traveling. Mm -hmm. He was making like jokes about the time travel, so maybe this is Island Hurley making jokes about the fact that there's another timeline now. You know, maybe whatever happens in the finale blows everyone uh, into the Flash sideways. You know, maybe the incident wasn't what broke away the two timelines. Uh, maybe it's this idea of the island being destroyed. Or something. Who knows? I don't know where this is going. But <laughs> um, or maybe they had no reason whatsoever that he happened to recognize Anna Lucia. And they never even talked yeah, about or, it. <laughs> or he could have just been making out with Libby and would have been like, Oh, you died with Anna Lucia. That would be really depressing. That would be. Okay, so what we can gather from the flat sideways, I don't know if you remember, but... Jack's son David mentioned a concert that he's going to, um, and Jack is apparently going, and his mother is apparently going, which I think is Juliet. Yeah. I, I, I will bet money on this. Um, so it seems that Jack and David and possibly Juliet are going to this concert, and maybe even Claire goes, just, you know, Auntie Claire, go watch me play the piano. So, uh, and if you caught it, uh, back at the... Um, police station, Miles is getting ready because um, the museum that his father works at, um, Dr. Chang, mm -hmm. is having some sort of commem commemorative um, concert, which is probably the concert. So it seems like everyone is going to end up at this concert. So uh, the Flash Sideways seems to be pushing all the characters to one point. Desmond has kidnapped everyone. <laughs> and they're all going to a concert, so we've got Jack, David, possibly Juliet, Sawyer, Miles, Charlotte. Uh, I expect to see maybe Daniel Faraday, yeah. um, Hurley, Blaine. Kate, Saeed, and Desmond all in one place at this museum with Dr. Chang uh, in the Flash Sideways. So that yeah. should be pretty cool. And, you got to strike gold somewhere. And I'm, I'm glad I run into you because I, I wanted to ask you about this. I know there are so few episodes left, but is there? Do, do you think there's room in, you know, in in this tail end of this series for one more color in Ben's palette? And you've beaten him up so many times. I know, and I and I and I took your beatings. Yeah! But. What about a love life for Ben? I, I mean, oh. all this time, I, I mean, I'm happy to be a character man, but once in a while, you know, even a character man gets the girl or gets something. You know, I thought, oh, maybe it's Juliet. 
there was a kind of chemistry, or maybe I dreamt it. And then there was a little Annie with the wooden doll. I thought, oh, somebody comes out of the dark past, and suddenly there's comfort for Ben and a connection. You know, it, look, we haven't really told any of the actors what's coming up in the finale, but I think considering your concern here, we can probably tell Michael what we have planned. If you trust us just a, a little while longer, we can guarantee you that Ben is going to find love. A real passionate, um, I mean, physical love. Yes, you know, it's, we're it's, talking it's about emotional, it. but it's also highly sexual. And some very I mean, intense. So, but we don't want to tell you who, because we feel like the surprise of it is actually going to be a big part of your performance. This is so great. great. I, I, I thought well, I'd given up because there was so little time left. But... Right. Yeah, I think somebody's waving to you over I, there. I have to go. I know. I know. It's okay. my agent. I'll, I'll, I'll see Michael, you later. Right. Can't tell right. how happy. Okay. Bye, Michael. Oh, he is really gonna freak out when he finds out it's Mr. Friendly. <laughs>